Welcome back to One Comic Book a Day, where I think I'm bleeding somewhere on my face, but I can't find the source. Today, we are finishing up Superman number 16 with its somehow worst story. Yeah, I say worst story after the first two stories were pretty terrible. Racket by Delivery. It is a mobster story. It is a boring mobster story. It's a mobster story I can tell you by just saying blah, 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 Superman beats up mobsters, blah, 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 bullets don't work on him, blah, 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 he puts them all in prison. Basically the story. But let's go into a little more detail. So we're going to just hit everything that usually happens in a Superman mobster story and why they're not interesting. There's a mob group. They're racketeering. They're racketeers. They're keeping deliveries from being delivered unless the shopkeepers are paying them, causing increase of prices across Metropolis. Lois and Clark go to look into this. They see the mobsters trying to extort people. Superman shows up and beats them up. Then Superman goes around beating up different groups of these mobsters trying to destroy deliveries or shopkeepers' stores. It's just the same thing over and over again, though there is an interesting moment where one of them tries to throw a bomb at Superman and doesn't even put a dent in his S-shield. Damn good costume he has. It's actually bulletproof towards kryptonite, but I don't know how canon that is anymore. <laughs> Now, this comic actually tries to answer something I keep complaining about, and that is these mobsters keep doing this crap even though Superman exists in this city and they never have a plan to deal with Superman. To be fair, Superman can't seem to be hurt by any weapon forged by man currently, so what could they possibly do? I mean, the best answer is seeing that he stays mostly in Metropolis to try any other city. But no, we're going to just keep doing that, and actually the answer is, I don't know if it's a good one, it's... The mob boss doesn't believe Superman can do the things everyone has seen him do. Like, he's flown around the city at this point. There have been many stories about him doing stuff, and you know, he's put away tens of mobsters. It feels like hundreds, but it's only tens at this point. Tens of mobsters. So something about him has to be true in some way. He is impressive. But the mob boss refuses to listen to them until Superman actually shows up to confront him. The mob boss uses Superman's greatest weakness. He pushes him. He pushes him right out of the window. And once again, you would think a guy who is bulletproof and super strong would not be moved by a regular guy pushing him, but no, he falls right out the window. Of course, he can fly, so he comes back up and starts using the mob boss as like a bat to whack around his goons. He gets the mob boss to swear he's not going to do anything or else Superman's going to use worse tactics. God knows what that will be, or he just used him as a baseball bat. But the mob boss has no plans to go along with this. He also has no plans to deal with when Superman shows up and is going to be pissed about this. But hey, he's not the thinking type. No one in these comics is a thinking type. So his plan to deal with everything is to kill Lois and Clark, which actually probably would solve things if they could kill Clark. But once again, that's a whole no weapon forged by man thing. They capture him along with a councilman by the name of Hell. They all get locked into a building that gets pushed into a river. Clark, of course, becomes Superman, saves Lois, but the councilman is missing. Clark then deals with the mobster and finds a paper on him listing all his crimes. Oh wow, this guy left a paper trail. What a terrible crime boss. It's like the one thing they teach you. Never leave a paper trail. And it turns out he's been working for hell the whole time because we want corrupt politicians. It, it's such a strange thing to throw out there at the end. It's not built up in any way. It's just, oh, one really great twist at the end. He was actually working for a councilman. So Superman puts him away, which is easy because there's a paper trail. Doesn't even have to get him to admit there is a paper trail. And that is it for Rackets by Delivery, the final story in Superman 16. This comic ends on a whimper. And yeah, it's just like the same thing over and over again. Superman rushes to go defeat mobsters who can't do anything to him. At best, they are surprised at bullets. And here, a bomb doesn't work on him. Hopefully the next Superman issue or the next action comics actually give something, you know, fun or at least a threat to Superman. It's all I'm asking for. Just threats. This comic understood it with a third story. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get notifications when a new video goes up. I do this Monday through Friday, but Friday is Bat Friday where I cover a Batman story in either Detective Comics or Batman. And until next time, let us ponder the question, whatever did happen to the man tomorrow? And why aren't these mob bosses believing that Superman is Superman? He has more than proved it at this point. Okay, have a great day.